A new affordable housing development will open today in St. Pete. Skyway Lofts is a 65 unit apartment community for residents earning 80% of the area's median income. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live in St. Pete with more on how this is just the start of new efforts to add affordable housing so needed in the community, Jenny. Definitely, Caitlin, and this is uh, Skyway Lofts. They will officially be here, county and city leaders, at noon today to cut the ribbon and officially open it up. And this is the first new construction by a company called Blue Sky Communities, which is based in Tampa, but develops affordable housing communities all across the state of Florida. Let's talk a little more about this particular building. It's 65 units, most of them priced around $762 a month for a one bedroom and $901 one per month for a two bedroom. All the apartments have energy efficient features and they also have on site amenities here like a club room, fitness center, laundry room and parking. And here's the catch though. They are all already spoken for. Recently, St. Pete Mayor, Mayor Ken Welch talked about the need for even more affordable housing. So much more important now because of the pressures we have even on affordable housing and affordability, the, the ability of folks to continue to live in St. Pete is even at risk now. So it's, it's a priority. I think it's a priority for our city as well. And this is one of just many projects that they are working on across Pinellas County. The county committed $700,000 for this particular land from the Penny for Pinellas Affordable Housing Program. And the city of St. Pete kicked in another $90,000 from its housing assistance fund. And it's not just Pinellas County where they're talking about affordable housing. Of course, it's all over the Bay Area. But today, Sarasota County Commissioners, they're going to be looking at approving $25 million in federal COVID-19 relief money to go towards affordable housing. And if that passes, if it moves forward, it could help create more than 600 more affordable homes for people to live in. Caitlin?